All right. Just here at the Clements residence. Of course, he's asleep. Late again. Doesn't doesn't understand what time is. Um, we're going to pick up a FG XR6 Ute. One of my mates blew a clutch probably two years ago. I don't know if it was that long, but it was a while ago. Been meaning to do this for him for a long time, but he hasn't had the money for a fun for um, for a clutch. So about to get a clutch. He got a clutch actually and flywheel. So we're going to do a rundown video on how to. Um, how to put one of them in, pretty simple. I was gonna buy a gearbox jack for this, but couldn't be bothered. There's three of us there, we'll lift it out, it'll be fine. Um, but yeah, we gotta to go tow it. We're gonna go pick it up on the truck, and then we will get on the hoist and um, get it done. Show you how to do it. Give you a run on how to do a FG XR6 or XR6 turbo clutch. step people forget is a battery. Disconnect the battery. Because when you're playing with your starter motor you don't want to mark it out. You only need to disconnect the earth. And a lot of people don't know about batteries. Earth first, right? First off, last on. Is that right Will? Is that right Mr. RACQ? Alright. I'll Jack's FG here and do a clutch on it. Um, step one, before you get it on your hoist, because, you know, you need a hoist to do a clutch. Before you get it on the hoist, you shut your mouth. Before you get it on the hoist, you got to take your shifter out because a lot of people will forget that, and then you got to go down and up. And these things, about $3 every time you go down and up. Well, around here they are, isn't that right? Isn't that right, Reese? And um, this is all your master and that sort of crap. So we've got to undo that. Um, we'll do all the stuff down here first, and then get it in the air, tail shaft out, box out, all the good bits. Alright, so step one, we're going to do it in steps for you amateurs, is this little tricky dicky. It's really not that tricky. A lot of people get a screwdriver under there, but that's not the way to do it. You literally push down and grab the back there and pop it up. I already popped this one, obviously. No broken clips. We're all good. Um, and then you've got two 13s down in here. Smash the camera. No, you don't smash the camera. Anyway, you take them off and that's your shifter off. Piece of piddly. Oh, here right. we go. We're on. Here we go, champion. Alright, step two. Come down in here. Look. look at the light on to try and fight the glare from the outside. Um, there's this little clip here. Now, you want to you wanna shoot this off and watch where it goes or you want to catch it. And I didn't catch it. But I heard it hit the hoist, so we're good. So yeah, it's that little clip and then you pop this line out. And that's your clutch done. Obviously, yes, it's gonna leak fluid. We'll flush it, we'll get all the old fluid out. Step two, all right. Tail shaft, they, they do, I've had it before. Um, eight mils, they're different between turbo and whatever. Some have 10 mils, some have eight mils. This one's got eight mils. Uh, and 13 here. Uh, some of them have 10, some of them have 13s. And these are 18, 19s. So that's how you take your tail shaft out, get it out of the way. We're going to drain the gearbox. It's your drain bolts here. We'll drain the gearbox, get the fluid out of it. That way we don't have a mess. Because I had a mess. You got a bit of wiring on this gearbox. You got these. Speed sensor, reverse sensor. There's a lot more over that side. Pretty easy to get off. Get it all off out of the way. Lay it all down out of the way. And we're going to separate the box. We'll get this out of the way as well. The whole gearbox mount. That whole thing will be out of the way. Uh, and then we're going to separate the box from the belly housing with these six bolts. I think there's or eight bolts maybe. Five, six. Yeah, there might be eight bolts in there. But we'll separate it there um, and get it out of the way. And then I'll get in there and show you the slave. And... Oh, another mm -hmm. okay. Here's a little tip for the young players out there. Your drill chuck and your quarter inch ratchet extension go together. It's not for cracking bolts, it's a fucking drill, right? But I've already cracked all these and I don't want to do, undo them by hand. Of course, if you have a quarter inch extension for your, for your impacting, if you're that rich, go hard, but 
on Popo. Oh, I come from the gutter. If you've wasted all your money on sheds and driveways, then you probably just have to use what you've got. That's right, you've got to run with what you've got. Run what you've brung, as I say. We're back. These ones here are your 19s. Oh, yeah. Pick them up later. Now yeah, this one's going to fall, so... It's not going to fall, but just hold it and I'll get it once. Once these are out. Alright. And that's your tail. That four. Grease your hoist. Make sure you grease. If you can't do it, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get you to pump me. Get one of your mates to pump you. When you guide it in. Yeah, right, a champ, two pumps, and you're done. Camera man's on smoker. He's been here ten minutes. Um, next. The, the, the key here is to let your gearbox down, get your man out of the way with weight on the exhaust because when you take that off it's going to swing back down so leave that on um, starter motor oh. if you're not weak that usually comes off pretty easy yeah usually it's 13 mil bolts from this side threaded into the bell housing they've obviously drilled it and done some cool stuff here with a spring washer and yeah they've done some other stuff so we'll have to do with that get it out of the way and then we'll hold that up do this um, box bolts and get it back out of the way. I'm about to find this. Right. It's, it's splitting. Alright, you ready? Yeah. It's warm ready, Jim. I was friggin' born ready. It was that old one. That clutch on. There you go. Good. Right. Um, we'll go give it a clean. Is that alright? Gotta wait for them beeps. Anyway, <coughs> gearbox is out. Bell housing still on clutches on. Um, he was under the impression the clutch was fucked because that is the, I guess, the feeling it was giving. Yeah, I guess. But if you can still start the car, because he. he He's putting the pedal down and he couldn't get it into gears, which means either A, yes, the clutch is stuffed and the gearbox is spinning too fast for it to let it engage gear, or, which it, it is, that is exactly what's happening, but it's because this isn't pushing the clutch enough because this, the slave and everything's all stuffed. So this is all clutch fluid. All this crap in here is what clutch fluid does to alloy. So it's been leaking for a while, and obviously he would have just filled it up, kept filling it up, kept pumping it, self-bleeding it. That's your bleeder as well, which is also loose and broken in there, so. But that's it, so the, the clutch will be fine. There'll still be meat on the clutch, because you can still drive it. You put it in gear, you can start it, you can drive it without a clutch, you can change gears without a clutch, but it was obviously, if you try to pull up the lights and put your clutch in, this thing would have been pushing two millimeters, you know what I mean? Anyway, it's here now. There's no point just replacing that. You bought a whole clutch kit, you, you do a whole clutch kit, right? So we'll give this a clean, and We'll unbox the clutch, get the rest of that off, show you how to do a spigot bearing. Yeah, with ease. Is that with ease? Anyway, you got six um, six top bell housing bolts, and then you got six 13s down the bottom here, that'll come off.
What's with this tricky thing here? Ah, you just break it. Anyway, this is our clutch. Look, I didn't choose it. I would have went with the MPC stock replacement, but here we are. Here's your slave. Alignment tool, spigot bearing, bleeder. Main reason we're unboxing this now is because I need this to get a measurement of that to fit something in the old spigot bearing. Which that definitely does not fit. So that's cool. High performance this clutch is. Looks it, definitely looks the part. Cleveland blue as well. Maybe they are right. Alright. Now we're going to get the um, old spigot bearing out. We're just going to use grease. You can use bread, but it's filthy, it goes mouldy. Um, you can use wet, wet newspaper, that works really well actually. Um, but yeah, what we've got on hand is grease, so we're going to use grease. Anyway, your spigot bearing. Fill it with grease, and don't just put a little bit in there, fill it, push all the air out with your finger and fill it. I've just got a 716 socket with a fucking cap in it, just to, it's the only thing that I had that fits. And with this, you want to hit it. You want to hit it hard, like a red-headed stepchild. You don't want to pussyfoot around, it's the shock that knocks it out, all right? Let's see how we go. It's not gonna work the first time, obviously. Do everything you can to keep the grease inside. There. And you go get. And as you can see, it's working its way out. And just repeat this process until. Should be pretty much us. Alright. Your bag. Just clean the clean the grease out. Bit of brake cleaner. Good to go. Alright, and then you just dig all your grease out because you can reuse it. That's the problem with bread, you can't reuse it once you put it in there. Anyway, this is a 24mm socket, that's your spigot bearing. You want to start that with your hammer and then... Once again, you don't want to muck around. That one will seat because it's got a lip on it. Um, it's like a factory one. If you go to the bearing shop and get a bloody $2 ball bearing one, these are needle rollers, which will fail. Um, if you go to the shop and get a washing machine bearing, like a ball bearing one, they won't have that lip to tell you where to stop. But you just knock it in fluff, and then it goes in there. And you can hear when it stops. So you get that in. A little bit of grease on there. And then when you start burning the clutch, that collects it, and then when you let the clutch off, it flicks it out and goes away. And it's just aggressive. Remember that time we flapped just the flywheel on Cortina? That was, you You started this with the flap disc. <laughs> you didn't go that deep. This is slotted like a disc, like a disc yeah, grade, except for it doesn't go to the edge. Well, it goes into this edge. So well, like 8.8 grade bolts. Yeah. All right, yeah. Look, it is what it is. Surface all clean and prepped. Anyway, inspection plate. Don't forget that one. Clean it out. I've used brake cleaner and, um, Blew the uh, bolt holes out there. So another trick is, you gotta keep rotating the flywheel until your bolts line up. They only go one way. That way. Only use Loctite 243. 
manufacturing spec. Oh, also, you got to knock your own nails in this flywheel because they didn't want to do it. But we had Reese there on the on the down knocker, and then because the clutch aligning tool they give you is rubbish, one that you got to pretty much make yourself. You want to got about five mil of play in it so you want to get it in there and then you're still going to have to use your fingers and just Circulate. sort it out and then you want to put your bolts in and we'll come back it's kind of it's in there didn't lose me tape now all you want to do is reverse the process right put your top six 19s in put your bottom six 13s in Make sure you don't get your wiring caught in the bell housing or anything. There's also this other loom over here that's got to come back over. Don't get it caught when you put your bell housing back on. Make sure nothing's caught on it. Yeah, get the starter motor. Clutch is in, pressure plate, flywheel, belly housing, starter motor is in. Bizzo is prepping the gearbox with the slave cylinder. Put the new one on, the fittings, just trying to work out the boot cover. Look, the other one's plastic. Yeah, this is good repair. You see this repair? Hmm. They yeah. crushed it and then they've just flat plated it. Hmm. Paces. Yeah, it's a. Interesting. Got a stricter in it to help with the horsepower. Cats on back in front. I'm like a man. Clean your down. Yep. Lube them up. Why is that stuff bubbling? Even that lube away. Yeah, it bubbles because it's bubbling. So you got to pass that clutch on. Oh shit, this has just been on stills the whole time. <laughs> Pull it off. Put it back together. You guys are pretty funny. Alright, you ready? Yep. That's good because you're going. So where do I go? What are you doing? You're going. Oh, what do you want? Oh, watch the camera. Dude. Oh, we don't know if we do nothing. Ooh! I was going to buy a gearbox jack for this, but couldn't be bothered. There's three of us there, we'll lift it out, it'd be fine. Um, Gearbox to the bell housing bolts, eight of them, 13 mil. 15, but. Yeah. 15? It's all right. Oh, there we go. And then, yeah, we'll go back through. Put cross member bolt on, put tail shaft back on, uni joint. And uh, bleed the clutch and hook wiring up. Call it a day. Yeah, so we repeated the process. Tough shaft bolts are back in, the uni there, cross member, Bizzos is putting some Dextron 3 oil in her, and fill her up. Uh, clutch is in, box is in, all went pretty smooth, no hiccups, bleed the clutch up and uh, put the shifter on, go take it for a drive and see what it's like. Stay tuned. 
So that's your bleed nipple. Um, we just put a, it's an 8 mil. In there. Um, we just put the clutch line back on with the clip. Um, the clip that I lost before showed you that. So we put that back on, filled up the reservoir, gave it a little suck, gravity bled it. And um, once we sort of felt fluid everywhere, we just bled it as you would normally um, with a line into a bottle. We've got Reese in the car there. And um, kept topping it up. See how we go.